efi and chile chile bi asia mituni di make profit from your brain make profit from your brain and i know we want to continue from where we ended yesterday and i know i am talking about your life is full of choices your life is full of choices your life is full of choices abra boya ye ba si e be boy onyankropon nyang samuni ni nim die mu wa ma ye akwenya na akwenya wode ama ye ni se me ye nya me die me na me bo wo die na so me de wo pa wo de fa die wo pa wo de dwene ade wo pa wo de ye ade a wo pe man je firu sem me de amao now we all know that in creation or when god created he created adam and then later on he created eve now please listen to the wisdom here onyame bo adam ni eve wo bo ba asasi so no god himself and i repeat god himself Give authority to men or man. When your group on at the two me a man nipa, and when your group on catch a nipa say, "We do my duty." Aha, aye what dey? What sorrow? Aye me dey. Ne free ne ko ne mabu ni na me de watu ano. That was the choice of God. Today I am talking about your life is full of choices. Your life is full of choices, and when you make a decision and a choice, you know, see Adam. The Abba Nyana me the watu ano fa shasu diso. And what catcher Adam say from today, whatever you say is what heaven accepts. It is from that very day, Adam decided to exercise the authority through decision or through the choices he makes. It is the way he said, Abwe biara ana di biara Adam etu dini ana wobo di fre adi ano. Until today, that is what it has been, and that is what it will ever be. Now, please listen. Please listen to me. Now, the choices Adam made is what has made us to become today. Now, you must understand that if any Adam, a diaba wamu ti ya na boni a wamu ye ye, a soon 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 en abe dunne. Now, I'm talking about the power of choice. Bible said the devil suggested to the woman and said, Have you considered? Now, the word considered means, Have you recognized? Do you care? Can you pay attention to? So the woman decided to pay attention to the devil, but by taking the choice from the devil, and then she decided to eat the fruits of evil and good choice. The woman, Adam, or the woman, Eve, sorry, the woman, Eve. Could have decided that I will not listen to the devil. And even if I will listen, I will not obey. We obey by choice. We don't obey by command. And I repeat. We obey by choice. We don't obey by command. Now everybody listen to me. When you have the new papa, 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 the new papa. I am talking about your life is full of choices. Listen to me. So who person is there? And you have the new papa. Se uba so wadia, e nye nyami ne yiyam hao, e ya wo, e na uko shia ye na, o si wa falling love. Ana wabe dra di ye na wenyu, wa sote. E na ufa ye, e na wawade. Now listen to this. Wenyami pe mu, e se e se wenyami ni misi wadi di power power manon. Na e di power the power of choice and decision ti. Wenyami kachile ni power of proverbs se, in all your ways, in all your ways, acknowledge me, and I will direct your path. In other words, me de upa ma ne mo mo freme. Some member upe ni na member bo in your decision na any member. Next there is what ba me compare no ba ma me compare no no. Me na be choose you by my decision and by my choice. Because what they now what they in ya I cannot blame God. The power of choice. Life is full of choices. Now me sorry ano pe bi ano me person me smoke his garita. That is my choice. Now, when I start smoking the cigarette, I will get cancer. That is my choice. So, smoking the cigarette is a choice. The result of my choice is the cancer. Everybody listen. So, there are things we go through that we want to blame God, that we shouldn't blame God. We must blame ourselves because the choice we made, this is the result. Listen to me. You cannot become what you have not chosen. In other words, where you are today as, is as a result of your choice. Baby and the word do. Baby a woke is as a result of the choice you made. 
Now, it is your choice not to go to the gym. It's your choice. It is your choice to overeat. It is your choice. In fact, it is your choice. Say, six, oh, sorry. Open down, my boy. It is your choice. It is your choice. Say, lock down for two weeks. Oh, for a brab on your BBR. It is your choice. No, mum. Oh, nini. Now, nini. Now, don't pen pen swabi. Now, brab one quay. Don't blame God. Blame yourself. Because God has given men the power of choice. Now, listen to this. Realize the power of decision making. Realize the power of decision making. Before you start making decisions, you have to understand what decisions does. And then I'll be free as yes, sir. I deal with me, sir. My yeno, I was so as yes, sir. Once you make that choice, be be a busy piano, a yawara. It's our dear no yer boa. You don't blame God and say, When you mean, so when you say, so now be so when I eat, I eat, one mama worry bear, my sabby bear, my phone, not one walk with me. Yammy, I didn't know my be Your choice, you go with it. Oh, yeah, me, eh, eh, wouldn't you send me any papa and one mommy or baba say your choice? And look till now before you make choice, you need to consult God. Refusing to consult God, the negative results you get, you bear with it. Everybody listen to this. And I quoted a scripture from the book of Matthew to you, and I told you about the ten virgins. Everybody listen, pay attention. Ten virgins, they were all virgins, but five made the choice to be foolish. Hmm. The other five also made a choice to be wise. We are, whole, we are all human beings created in the image and in the likeness of God. Wisdom is a choice. Foolishness is also a choice. Please listen. When God gives you wisdom, the application of the wisdom is a choice. And not to apply it is failure. Everybody listen. Life is all about choice. Now, when we are university, watch no applications called companies be. Application now watch na ko companies ni ni nemono. You take a decision, you make a choice. Me chuna ko ha ene ha because a ho ena be person be here juma. Now say company for fly us or more far. Na company ni ya choice of company na opa oko opa onko. It's your choice. Now a Colombia be we S H S school. We choose schools. Schools you now we choose no. It's your choice. That the, the headmaster does not choose for you. The headmistress does not choose for you. You make the choice. In fact, baby, I would do my school, then you'll be the channel. It was your choice. I call the cool school. No, now call born. No one idea. You cannot blame God. It's your choice. And then I tell you, I will room. You made the choice. So we share now when you go watch your room. You don't blame the people who are watching you. You blame yourself for wearing what you want. Your choice. The American United said life is all about the choices you make. Five decided to add extra oil. Now listen, it was not God who told them to add extra oil. And it wasn't God who told the other ones not to add extra oil. The wise ones decided to add extra oil. Now listen, why the Bible calls them the wise and the fool is because of the choice they made. Listen to me. You become proper. You become wise. You become successful. You start succeeding by the choice you make. You fail. You become disappointed. You are rejected by society by the choice you make. And that is why whenever you want to have a friend in life, nobody forces you to have this kind of friend or this type of friend. You decide the friends you work with. And the Bible, there was a gentleman be a Bible said, not unto me, Nante. Listen to this. Bible said, the friends, the gentleman had, they were all capable of doing something with their hands. So one day when Jesus came to town for healing, they went to their friend and said, you won't say you're not but to me and but Jesus is in town. They carried their friend. When they got to where Jesus kept performing the miracles, they couldn't enter because there were too much people. So they decided to jump to the roof of the house. And then the number one of them to two chairs down, and then they brought their friend through the roof. Listen, the kind of friends you choose determine the level of life and where God places you. And there are many of you, you are not making it to anywhere. You are not going anywhere. Your life is amounting to nothing because the kind of friends you have are not good friends. Show me your friend and I will tell you and predict your future. Listen to what I'm saying. Where you are is a direct result of the choice you have made up to this point in your life. And I repeat. 
Where you are is a direct result of the choice you have made up to this point in your life. Baby, I will do it. And Pempenso will do it. The choices you made is what has brought you to where you are. Are you enjoying your marriage? The choice you made. Are you not enjoying your marriage? The choice you made. Obi Maosika, you entered into a kind of business, you know, your own business. It is because of the choice you made. You decided to sell foods. You decided to go to China. You decided to uh, go buy from Cantamanto. Uh, 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 your choice. If the business fails, you don't blame anybody. You made a choice. Choice is powerful. Therefore, you need to be careful what you choose and the decision you make in life because you become your decision. Everything that happens to us in life is a result of our choice. Whether good or bad, Anything that happens to us in life is as a result of the choice we make. I don't pay because she is simple. And yeah, then I will choose. What do you choose? What are your choices? And what are your decisions? Your decisions can influence you negatively and positively. Now, there is a scripture I want us to pay attention to this morning, and it will be a blessing to you. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 2. I am talking about life is full of choices. And I read. The rich and the poor meet together. Please, listen well. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. Look at this scripture, it's very powerful. Now, if you look at the rich and the poor, I am sure you go like, why should God be selective and discriminating? Why should God make somebody rich and somebody poor? Watch this scripture. The poor and the rich, they met together. The poor and the rich, they met together. And the Lord is the maker of them all. Now, there is something I want us to learn from this angle. God could have said, God could have said, listen, God could have said, human beings meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. No. God said the poor and the rich, they met together, and God is the maker of them all. Now listen to this. Why say the rich and the poor? It is because there are two classifications in this life. It is either you are poor or rich. Don't talk about middle class. There is nothing like middle class, whether you like it or not. In life, it is either you are rich or poor. But look at this mystery. In Proverbs chapter 22, verse 2. The B part is my focus this morning. The rich and the poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. God made all, but he did not make them so. Listen to this. The rich and the poor was created by God. Wow, I love that. But God did not make them so. Listen, God was the one who created the rich and the poor. But God did not make them so. In other words, he created the poor and the rich. But the choice you make will decide. The choice you make will bring out the best in you. The choice you make can make the poor become rich and the rich become poor. I hope you are getting me. The rich and the poor meet together. God is the maker of them all. But God is not the one who decided that the poor must remain the poor. The rich must remain the rich. Now listen, have you ever come across people who are so poor? Suddenly, they make good choices and they become rich. Have you ever also come across people who are so rich, now they are poor. They cannot even afford three meals square. They can't even eat. They have nothing to show. Have you ever come across people like that? Then it tells you that the choices you make in life today can make you rich or make you poor. I said before you life and death, choose this day whom you serve. Life and death is on the tongue. Choose one, life or death. Now listen to this. The virgins were ten. God made them virgins. The five chose, the first five, they chose to be wise. How wise are you? And what are your choices? The other five chose to be very foolish. Sister, you are in the middle of there. You are in the middle of mosque, but you can be a fool. Other ones can be wise. 
listen to this. We be to be case ah na get sabi get fun we we nya awa de pana yen pokra ye ni papa ye tia me ba cho me sra o. Wo ye ni papa ba wo nim kasa. Wo ye ni papa ba tu mu ade. Wo ye ni papa but you don't know how to communicate with people and that is your choice. They are also the one yefe. I when I want the panos we in the party say we are, but she has made the right choice, and that is why to change is not God's choice and decision. To change is your choice. You cannot believe God for a miracle yet you are not changing for the miracle or you are not preparing for the miracle. Listen, in life God does not change men. It is when men are ready to change that God invade by His Spirit. And I want to repeat. Listen to me. Have you ever gone to a crusade? And then the man of God will be preaching salvation. Musa chilo, Musa chilo, Musa chilo. And then somebody just walk and say, Nyamine push me some membra. It is up to you to decide and say, Mi ya bonde do do, e fi ne kompe, sambi di ume nyame, na me sakra. And then you walk to the altar call. You lift up your hands, accept Jesus as your personal savior. Your sins are forgiven, and then you become born again. Choice. A lot of people will go to hell. A lot of people will go to heaven. The power of choice. People will go to hell. People will go to hell, not because they want to go to hell. It is because they are refusing to accept Jesus. You don't blame God. You blame yourself because you made a choice. And most of the time, as human as we are, we make choices without consulting God because we think we are smarter than God. And so every choice you make comes with its consequences. Now listen to this. God made ten virgins. God made them all. But how they became wise and foolish was their decision. Wisdom is choice. And I repeat, wisdom is a choice. Wisdom is a decision. The choice you make today will impact your life tomorrow. And I repeat, the choice you make today will impact your tomorrow. It may be who not be show, not be show a The decision and the choice you made yesterday. Have you ever come across women who go like our dear minyam mejai, our dear minyam mejai? They made the wrong choice. They took the wrong decision, and now it has backfired. You don't blame God. You accept your responsibilities and you pray for grace. Listen to this. God has given you. A brain for free. God has given you a brain for free. The best way to say thank you to God is to use your brain. God has given you a brain for free. free The best way you can say thank you to God is to use your brain well. And from your brain, you make choices. From your brain, you make decisions. Therefore, if your brain is sick, it will affect your choices and your decisions. And listen, life is full of choices and a learning experience. We Africans, and by extension, Ghanaians, we are used to producing children from our womb, period, powerful. Africa, I dare you name your pie. I will, yeah, will bust about. You be with ten, you be with five. Isn't it not beautiful? It's so nice. Say you be a wadum na wanya mau. But you must understand that whenever you produce a child with that brain, you have wasted your energy. And listen, we have many children. We are celebrating in them. We celebrate ourselves about them. But most of them, they don't use their brain because our fathers do not have time. To nurture us so that we can use our brain. Go to China. Go to America. Talented. The father is ready to groom him or her. Go to China. Come to Ghana. 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 Pick the phone and say, Daddy is not well. So you see, in Africa, most of us, Instead of nurturing our children, telling them how to make positive choice and take well decisions, we are teaching them lies. And listen, whenever you come across a child who is a liar, check the parents. The parents are liars, period. Now, the other day, God spoke to Joshua and said to Joshua, Joshua, you know what? Meditate on this word of God day and night. And as you do that, you will prosper. 
Joshua 1.8. Now, look at the choice. Joshua, I am telling you what to do. That can make you prosper. But if you don't do, I will not force you. Meditate on the word day and night, and it will make your ways prosperous. Joshua, T. Abeno, say, ah, so this is the choice. Once I make the right decision and I make the right choice, I can succeed. God didn't say to Joshua, Joshua, I will prosper you. He said, Joshua, once you meditate, you will prosper. In other words, once you can listen, obey, many of you, you don't obey instructions. Many of you, you see, coronavirus is here. And then the president is saying, lock down. And then you made a choice and said, I will not lock myself down. I will go to town. Your choice is the results of the bad choice you made. Consequences in Abano. This is a good example. Number two, wash your hands. Use hand sanitizer. Use hand sanitizer. Use hand sanitizer. COVID 19 is awaiting you. And that is the truth. The power of choice and decision is so powerful. Listen to me. Whatever you are doing today, I really want you to understand that if you are making decision or you are making choice, be careful how you do it because one of the choices or one choice you make can live with you the rest of your life. For example, marriages. A lot of people have regretted getting married. To my surprise. They go like, my bra wadiano, me no me wusa me wadi, I'm waiting for divorce. Me dear, choice, decision. Usia sister, usia I love you. I love you until the day I will die. We see our brother, we say, me, if I disappoint you, may tender fire me. So you were making promises because of the choice you made. Now, it looks like it is not the way you expected. Stay with it. Abide by it. Delight in it. You have no choice. The reason is that now the choice you made, this is the results. You entered into business without thinking twice. Somebody told you that only $10,000 will be you. So you just entered. You didn't sit to think, to reason. Listen, the reason why God has given you a brain is to think out of it. If you cannot use your brain, you are useless. I'm sorry. If you cannot use your head to think, it will not help you. Now, when I entered into this studio, I saw cameras. I saw TV. I saw mic. I saw a lot of things, air conditioning. Do you know why? Because it is somebody's child. Somebody's child's brain. The choices they made, this is the results. So the camera that is fixed on me is somebody's choice. When you are getting, I don't trust you, you know, this is what I want to create. We create we not the camera at all. We create we not the light at all. What can you create from your brain? By the choice you make and by the decisions of life. School now, O H S H S, right? And then school, what decided he said, young lady, you will not focus on your book. And you have a choice. failure. You don't blame God. I remember in school, listening to this story. Say, you have the continuing exam, sir. Now you have SU, you know, scripture union. Now you have your pen. I could go prayer, you know, altar and so. Now you're bomb by your radiator, by your pen inch from my yo, by your pen inch from me. Can see you see, actually, what we made a choice not to learn, and we decided that God will come down and write our exams for us. Radiator, your pen anointing, oh, pen anointing, oh, you deceive me, punish my inch. God is not a robot, God. A radiator, a radiator, and then to my surprise, yeah, yeah, you're quite as sure you're quite bomb by your way in our exams, you know, you're ready. Because we made the wrong decision and the wrong choice. And we had to live by it. And then we started blaming God. God, why? We have been serving you all this while. We have been following. I mean, first said it be three days dry. It's like going to apply for a visa, but your papers are not good. So you took some documents there. You lied. Statement of accounts in your you lied. What do you call you know? And then you come back and say, Ah, oh God, the prophet told me that I will get the visa. Listen to me. The choices you make in life can make you or unmake you. God is powerful, but even God lives in our choice. God does not invade in and on our choice. One shayasu. Or the year 
they open it to me. But Ecclesiastes Solomon will tell you that even though your willpower has been given to you and God has created you as a free moral agent, whatever you do, choice, decision, you will give an account to it. And that is why whenever you are sinning, God does not say stop. When you are drinking alcohol, God does not say stop. When you dress some way, somehow, God does not say stop. Because your willpower, the power of choice and decision has been given to men. But remember that whatever you do with your choice and your decision, you will give an account. There was this young man in the Bible, a near friend, Gehazi. Gehazi, not a servant to Elisha. Now, Dako, Papa, be your friend, Naaman. Our Yare Kwatako, Elisha, for healing. And then Elisha decided not to come down and told his servant, Gehazi, go tell Naaman, he should go wash himself seven times, you'll be healed. And then Naaman said, go tell your father that I did not only come for healing, me the Sika, me the Ejapadia, me the Ahunya, me the gold, me the Kadiaba, catch it on the and then when Gehazi went to the prophet and came back, he said, my father is not interested in all these things. And then Gehazi said, ah, Odifoe, unye serious. Me jabe papa ne me maame ho. Abe di wechi. Light bay, water bill, me wayere. How do I pay it? Let me make a choice. If my spiritual father cannot and will not take the money from Naaman, I will pursue him and take it. Choice. It wasn't God. It wasn't God. It wasn't God who told Gehazi to go after Naaman. He made a choice. And listen to the consequences. At the end of the day, Elisha cursed him. Unyakwata, choice. Listen to me this morning. Make the right choice and take the right decision. Because your life is in the choice and the decision you make. Once again, my name is Reverend Daniel Donko on Awake TV. Please, you can send your comment to me on 244 51 Five five four four. Once again, zero two four four five one five five four four. You can send your comment to me right now, and I will read it live. So today we are talking about the power of choice. The power of choice. You want to start a new business? It's your choice, and that is the decision you have made. But remember that there, there is a good side of the decision you have made or taken. And there is also a bad side. And if it doesn't work, you don't blame anybody. In all your ways, acknowledge God. And that is why the Bible says, the steps of the righteous man is ordered by God. Simply because God does not force his will into the will of men. And on the, on the days, or in the days of Jesus on earth, before he, he went to the cross, he prayed a prayer. He said, Father, let your will be done. Not my will, by your will. It means that Jesus had a will. And by his will, looking at the pain, he could have decided to avoid death. But by the will of the Father, the Father wanted Jesus to make the right choice, to die on the cross, so that man would get salvation. Man would be redeemed. Man would be bought with a higher price. And so Jesus made the right choice. What I'm saying today is very simple. Watch your choices. Be careful about your decisions because you are made of your choices and your decisions in life. Abraham Kweya, don't blame God. God is the maker of the poor and the rich, but he's not the one who made. He made them, created them like that. But to become, it is not the duty of God. It is up to you to become successful. It is up to you to become foolish or wise by choice, by decision. Think right, think right. Let's read a few messages. If we have a few messages here, I'll be glad. All right. Somebody said, man of God, I am blessed. Thank you so much. A lot of things has happened to my life and I kept blaming God. But today you have enlightened us. Wow. From Kumasi. Wow. So good morning. Man of God. I am, I am, I am Williams. I am crying because I am shocked. I have never heard this. I thought God is responsible for my destiny. Brother, God is not responsible for the destiny of any man. Men are in charge of our destiny. But God only comes down. That is why in the book of Jeremiah 29, 11, God said, I know the thoughts and the plans I have for you. 
my thought and my plans for you are good and not evil. Listen, I know the thought and the plans I have. So God has a plan. You also have a plan. And that is why the Bible says that many are the plans of man. But God is the one who weighs the plan. But you see, man, because we are so selfish and we always want to satisfy the flesh, we always want to do things that will agree with our consent, that will agree with our will. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, before I conclude and I close, I want to encourage you to be careful about the choices you make, about the decision you make. In 2 Kings, about the four lepers, they made a choice and they took the right decision. And the decision and the choice they made resulted in miracles. They said to one another, why do we sit here until we die? Why? Let's make a choice. If we sit here, we will die. Choice. If we go into the city, they may spare us or kill us. Choice. Listen, don't speak by faith and sit at the same place. Make a choice and take a decision that even though you are a carrier of God and your confessions are positive, from today, you are making a move. You are taking a step by faith. They took a step by faith and look, the word of the Lord by Elijah was fulfilled. Why do we sit here until we die? They started walking to this. And the wonderful thing is that when they made the choice and they took the right decision, Bible said, and on their way, Bible said, God decided to magnify it. It started sounding like a mighty warrior. Bible said, So God had to use four lepers to prosper a whole nation because of the choice and the decision they made. Listen, you become who you want to become by the choice you make. You become who you want to become by the decision. And that is why in the ministry of Jesus, when Jesus, whenever Jesus came across sick people, Jesus didn't force them. Do you want to be healed? If you say no, Jesus will continue his journey. If you say yes, then Jesus will do something about it. So even Jesus on his earthly ministry, when Jesus was with us on earth, Jesus never forced anybody to give me records to. Jesus, do you want to be healed? Do you want to be well? Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be well? Why? Because Jesus is God, but he cannot force his will on man. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to share with you something very simple. Life is full of choices. Life is full of choices. Be careful what you choose and be careful the decisions you take. Because if you don't take care, every decision you are taking, every choice will backfire to you and God will be blamed. Nevertheless, you must not blame God. You need to blame yourself. Today, I want to pray with you. And I want to encourage you that the Lord will help you. The Lord will give you grace so that from today, your choices and your decisions will be right because you become your choice and you become your decision. Once again, my name is Reverend Daniel Donko. Now, please, if you want to sponsor this program, Wisdom Port, by the grace of God, if you want to, please, you can take this number, 0244-515544. Once again, if you want to sponsor the Wisdom uh, Port, on Awake TV, please, you can call us on 0244-515544. And the same number is on mobile money. Um, that's here, Daniel Y. Donko or Daniel Donko. And um, uh, for the next two weeks, uh, lockdown, we actually in the idea. This is what we'll be doing with you. And we'll be sharing the word of God with you. We'll be encouraging you so that your spirit man will not die. It will be alive. So please, every day, every day, uh, we started from yesterday morning, um, 8 to um, 8.30, 30 minutes. Uh, you can tune in to Awake TV. Now, oh, shy and so I, please, I will beseech you by the message of God. Keep talking to people to be tuning in or to be watching or to view every day from Monday to Friday, um, 8 p 8 a.m., sorry, yeah, 8 a.m. to 8.30. And then on Sunday, it will be 8.30 to 9 a.m. So Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. Uh, in the morning, and then on Sunday. So it means that Saturdays in count. So Sundays will be 8.30 um, a.m. So please, if you want to sponsor, once again, you can call us on 0244-515544 on Wisdom um, Port. Once again, my name is Reverend Daniel Donko. 
Um, life is full of choices. So be careful of your choice, what you choose, how you choose, and be careful of your decision. Tomorrow, God willing, we will meet once again. Thank you, bless you, and I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.